Welcome back, Fordo. On today's episode, we will highlight boys volleyball and a couple of dance seniors, and girls basketball mic'd up. And later, Zay Hampton will have sports results and highlights, all this and more coming up on Tribal Review. Hey Porto Sage, welcome back to Travel Review. I'm Princess Mueller. And I'm Hannah Johnston. Today is Friday, March 1st, 2024, and here's what you need to know at Fordo. Fordo Sage Jazz Band attended UCM Jazz Festival 2024. Both jazz bands played phenomenal and Liberty Goss received the Outstanding Soloist Award. Travel Review reporter Stacey Purrington caught up with the new boys volleyball club to see how it is going. Kansas City Boys Volleyball League will be hosted through Heart of America Volleyball. Aiden Chavez, founder of the Boys Volleyball Club, had to work with school's athletic director to start the club. Our goal is really just trying to get a lot of numbers out, trying to just, you know, branch out there that, you know, boys volleyball is fun and try to just get a really good season. If you're interested in playing, practice is on Tuesdays and Thursdays with the other volleyball teams. Boys volleyball coach Mr. Moore feels that allowing them to start the club has grown their love for volleyball. Uh, and I hope that if we host some games here that we can get some kids in the stands, some fans, um, just increase the uh, love for volleyball. They were able to raise money by a pie in the face contest. Ms. Gage got pied. Athletic director Mr. Schartz feels with the boys starting the club shows their commitment they have for volleyball. A lot of commitments been made by a handful of students. Um, came to me with an idea of a boys volleyball club and um, there is a process that we go through for all clubs um, that we start here at Fort Osage. Uh, these gentlemen were more than happy to create their own constitution, go through all the things we asked them to do, get enough signatures and to put the, the thing in motion. And Here we are, we're, we're in motion now. This year, Mish will be recognizing men's volleyball as a sport. I'm Stacy Peerington reporting for Travel Review. Thanks, Stacy. I think it's really cool that they're doing this. I think it's about time we get something going for the boys' volleyball. After the break, we'll have a profile on a couple dance team seniors. Stay tuned for more Tribal Review. What's our Friday night without the lights? What is a teacher without students? What's a community without support? What's a team? without fans. What's a school without spirit? Hashtag Fort Proud. Welcome back to Tower Review. Reporter Ariel Scott chatted with Sophie and Olivia Deck about how their senior year is going. Not only do the twins still do dance, but they did tap and ballet in their younger years. Layla Friend feels like they're a great asset to the team. Um, I love dancing with the twins, and every time we go to dance practice, we have like 15, 30 minutes of stretching at the beginning. Um, and they will just sit down in the splits, completely fine, no warm up, and it's crazy. Olivia and Sophie are projected to graduate in May. Miss Julie Ammons feels like their energy brings the most. I think the best part about having uh, the Deck Twins in class is just the energy they bring. They're always like on the edge of their seat, ready to sing, um, ready to help other people in class. Um, if they are coachable, they take instruction well, and they just want to do their very best, and I love that. Olivia and Sophie moved here between sophomore and junior year, but still continued to dance here at Fort. Here's why. Being a part of a team is really all about respecting one another and being there for each other. I think it's also really important to find intrinsic motivation yes. instead of relying on somebody else to be motivated. The twins are also included in choir, NHS, and NAHS. This is Ariel Scott reporting for Travel Review. Thanks, Ariel. Personally, I think they did a really good senior year. I love watching them dance. Zay Hampton now joins us for the Indian Sports Report. Hey Zay, it looks like wrestling finished eight and basketball is in districts. You're right, I have scores and highlights after the break. 
Are you in need of some delicious coffee or hot piping tea to start your day? Come on up to The Attic, FOHS's own little coffee shop. Read by amazing staff and always visited by sweet patrons, it's a comfortable place to hang out and sip your favorite drinks, all made fresh. Located to the left corner right as you enter the library. At The Attic, they make a variety of drinks, both hot and cold, different types of coffee, teas, and even hot chocolate. The Attic is only open on Fridays, opening in the mornings and closing at 1.45 p.m. Come visit The Attic shop on Friday. We would love to have you. What's up, Photo Sage? I'm Zay Hampton with the Indian Sports Report. The wrestling team competed in the Class 4 and Class 2 state championship at Mizzou Arena on February 23rd and the 24th. Michaela Stickler finished 6th place in the 100-pound weight class, while Aroma Marufo got 1st in the state championship for the 110-pound weight class. Isaac Ward finished 3rd in the 109-pound weight class, while Gavin Goldman also finished 3rd in the 215-pound weight class. Colby Gray finished 2nd in the 150-pound weight class, while Kaysen Schreier finished 1st in the boys' 106-pound weight class state championship. The women's basketball team competed in districts at Blue Springs South against Columbia Hickman on Wednesday, February 28th, and fell to the QPs 64-31, including their season. Shout out to the senior Emma Crow on a great season as a leader of the team. Well, that's it for the Indian Sports Report. I'm Zay Hampton. Princess and Hannah will have more news after the break. Tammy Sue's is a community-based upcycle mercantile shop on 309 South Hudson Street, Buckner, Missouri. This is the perfect community-based place to get all the decor and accessories you could ever want. Tammy Sue's has a wide variety of items for yourself, home, gifts, and others. Tammy Sue's includes soaps, earrings, outside decor, inside decor, flowers, and much more. All these unique items come at an affordable price just for you. Tammy Sue's also offers a variety of make-and-take classes. Come to Tammy Sue's Upcycle Mercantile, where new meets old. Come shop today. Welcome back to Tribal Review. Although the basketball season is coming to a close, we wanted to show you an inside look at a basketball practice. Tribal Review reporter Kenneth Simons got mic'd up and stormed the court. I want to rave to the fans. That's so funny. Hey, you have to watch your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> High fives. <laughs> Why do you have to be a Debbie Downer, bro? Someone really high-fived me hard. They'll add or subtract from the population. Chugging along. Choo-choo! I had an F for like 15 minutes today. I think I want to stretch. I, and look, I took all my nails off because they were really irritating me, so I just... Oh, because we had an incident, but it's okay. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I probably haven't washed this in like three weeks. My calves are so unproportional to my, the rest of my legs. She got her hair done, she's feeling herself. Keep your hurt in me. Bang! This is about the only shots I'll make. I'm already breathing hard. Mm. The bleach is really getting in my head right about now. Nobody wants you to sing. Cash money. High five. Yep, on it. Hello? I'm not in shape. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. No squatting. God, I'm tired. <laughs> right as always. <laughs> oh God. Mac is going to start on that side of the floor. That side of the floor. That side of the floor. Oh. And I have to be in timeout. Good. Perfect. Come on, Grandma. It's the only time I can finish in the paint. Girl does not like to get fouled. Hooray! <laughs> Thanks, Kenna. Honestly, it was just fun to watch what their practices are like. Yeah, she's pretty funny. Scholar Bowl competed in Lee Summit Tiger Varsity Tournament on Saturday, February 24th. The team went 3-7. and seven. Varsity member Dylan Doherty placed 15th overall, and Asher Wins came in 14th out of 77 overall. If you are going to college, the ACT is a good thing to take. The last ACT of the school year is April 13th, and the date to register by is March 8th. There are ACT prep classes after school Monday and Wednesday starting March 6th. Speech and debate traveled to Odessa to participate in the Odessa Final Countdown Invitational Tournament, where the team placed second. 
Haley Miller and Kendra Moore placed first in the public forum debate. Brayden Manastic got in first an invitational attempt. Kendra Moore placed first in the U.S. extent, and Roxanne Mars got first in the humorous interpret. All other placements are displayed on the screen. We can't wait to see you guys dominate in the postseason. For the second year in a row, Florida State Student Council is hosting the Powder Buff Volleyball Tournament, and it will be held in March. As always, if you're looking for more news and information about Florida State High School, you can always find additional coverage at FOHSSignal.net. There you will find stories about the students and activities of the school, so check it out today. Well, that's it for today's show. I'm Princess Mueller. I'm Hannah Johnston. And I'm Zay Hampton. Thanks for joining us today. Be sure to tune in next week.